make it mocha. Sunday Studio and Contemporary Art Star present Moving Images That Break the Mold, an installment of Sunday Studio, MOCA's quarterly drop-in see art, make art program for makers of all ages and experience levels. It happens four times a year at MOCA at either of our two downtown locations, MOCA Grand Avenue, across from Disney Hall, or the Geffen Contemporary at MOCA in Little Tokyo. Check MOCA.org for more info. This particular installment of Sunday Studio is inspired by experimental films made by five visual artists, John Baldessari, Rosemary Trockel, Wallace Berman, Bruce Connor, and Jim Shaw, who are each represented in MOCA's permanent collection, parts of which are on view at MOCA Grand Avenue right now, fall 2014. During this Sunday Studio, we're screening short films by each of these artists throughout the afternoon. You can look for connections between their short films that you can watch in MOCA's auditorium with art objects they made that are on view in the galleries. Taking a cue from the unconventional approaches these artists take toward making moving images, this Sunday Studio includes an open-air video-making laboratory where participants can push the creative limits of the most ubiquitous source of videos today, smartphones and tablets. This video shows some examples created by MOCA artist educators of unconventional things you can do with a cell phone or tablet video camera without apps. Think of it as homegrown special effects. Cell phone and tablet video technology is so easy to use. Basically, you can hit record and hit it again and end up with great looking things, especially if you use apps or filters. But there's also a lot you can do between the time of hitting record and stop record to create really interesting moving images. Instead of letting the camera or apps do most of the decision making, by approaching your videos like a visual artist, you can make your own filters and special effects that put a lot more you into your videos. Who says a video has to be in focus or show recognizable objects or people? There's tons of beautiful and interesting imagery to be found in working with physical materials as filters, props, and miniature worlds. You can also create amazing effects by trying different ways to hold and move your camera around while you're filming.
Hopefully these examples inspire you to think of your phone or tablet as a tool and a material for making cool moving images that are both interesting to make and that make the world interesting.